Soren Kierkegaard was born May 5, 1813, in Copenhagen, Denmark, where he remained for the majority of his life. He attended the University of Copenhagen with a focus on theology, wanting to live a human life, not just one of knowledge. He kept journals throughout his life, describing his family and social life in addition to philosophical ideas. Kierkegaard's father is mentioned frequently throughout his works, attributing his melancholy, guilt, anxiety, as well as talent for philosophical argument to his father. Despite being in love with Regine Olsen after meeting her in 1837, Kierkegaard broke off his engagement in order to devote himself monastically to his religious purpose. Kierkegaard wrote his early works under various pseudonyms to portray different viewpoints, which other pseudonymous characters could debate with. His major works include The Concept of Irony, Either Or, and Fear and Trembling, all published in 1843. Kierkegaard collapsed in the street and died at age 42. We're the Soren Kierkegaard Street Team. And we're about to go ask random people on the street what they know about Soren Kierkegaard. <laughs> Who was Soren Kierkegaard and what were his philosophies? Oh, he was the father of existentialism, of course. <laughs> Everybody knows that. It was all about uh, you, like, like individual, like, it's all about me. <laughs> I like that. Kierkegaard was the first real existentialist, which was a philosophy that placed major emphasis on the individual, and not just their intellectual ability, but also their more human aspects, their emotion. Um, he said that individuals had to make their own lives meaningful despite obstacles like despair and boredom, and that truth was subjective based on each individual. Um, one of his main theories was the leap of faith theory, which was that the belief in God and love don't rest on logic, but on emotional certainty that some things just exist. And he stated that this faith, it also coexists with doubt. Without one, the other can't exist. Kierkegaard also made major contributions in the field of theology. He examined and made developments in Christian ethics, establishing that a connection could be made to Jesus Christ, Kierkegaard's stereotype of the God-man through religious faith. How did Kierkegaard break away from previous ideas and thinkers? Well, you know, he and Hegel, they didn't really see eye to eye. And you know, that guy Schelling, Kierkegaard didn't like him too much either. But you know, his ideas were just too fresh for all them haters. Kierkegaard's main disagreement with, with Hegel was over the human identity. Hegel's belief was that people were defined by the evolution of the world and government. He said that God didn't exist, that he was just a form of, a, of the stereotypical absolute spirit, which was just a theoretical solution for societal issues. But Kierkegaard said that human existence couldn't be defined so bluntly or rationally, and that a belief in God wasn't a solution for society's problems, but a free act of faith. And uh, Kierkegaard's theories were influenced by Hegel, despite his intense dislike of him. Schelling, man, he was hella weird. Kierkegaard was at first like, dude, you're awesome, but you don't like Hegel either. But then Schelling was all getting into a hella freaky mythological pseudo philosophy, and Kierkegaard was like, no, nah, man, I'm hella not into that. What was Kierkegaard's historical impact and his influence on modern day? Dude, Kierkegaard had like some gnarly influence in our time, man. People back in the day, they like didn't appreciate him, but like now everyone's totally stoked about him. He's inspired me to ask those big questions like, how should I live my life? To which I would respond, I should live as one with Mother Ocean. Cause then she would like want to send me like those gnarly waves that I could just like shred, shred those gnarly waves. During his time, Kierkegaard didn't make much of an impact, but he achieved substantial posthumous fame and influenced many contemporary thinkers, such as Nietzsche, another founder of existentialism, Simone de Beauvoir, as well as influential authors like Hermann Hesse, Rainer Maria Rilke, and J.D. Salinger. His contributions to existentialism also led to movements like modernism and postmodernism. So what do you like most about Soren Kierkegaard? Soren Kierkegaard, man, you know, he had swag. Like, he had his original ideas. And, you know, he stayed true to what he believed in. He wasn't the most popular, but, you know, haters gonna hate. Soren Kierkegaard, man, he had swag. What was your favorite thing about Soren Kierkegaard? 
He's a free thinker, man. He's just like, he's got his own ideas. And his hair. It's like, whoosh, like the waves, man. It's like, it's like a hollow barrel that you could totally shred. His hair is like the hollow barrel for shredding the nard. <laughs> what was your favorite thing about Soren Kierkegaard? <laughs> He's so hot. Like, have you seen him? Like, oh my god. And he's smart hot. So, like, you never know what he's gonna say. And it's just, oh, he's so hot. I want to have his children. <laughs>